I, I typed cop op one, but you know what? That's okay. What do you want to do, Daniel? What, what are you feeling today? We got a long um, Isaac segment and maybe a little Gardic phone after that. So the I mean, time's he, on your side. You're telling me long session, dude. Uh, I mean, we we could we could make it long if you like. What does that mean? I mean, we could we could make it a long session. I don't know what like that a, means. A, though, a single like. run. No, that's like okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I said some things I wish I could take back about your run yesterday. In a nice way or a not nice way? I would say in a way that's, uh, you, you might take it as a little sarcastic. Like, for example, some people may have said, did you see Dan's six hour long run? To which I replied, what's so special about a run that takes him two times longer than usual? Oh, okay, that's fair. That's not below the belt. That's, that's like, uh, that's par for the course. Okay, well then, you know, consider me a scratch golfer then. All right. <laughs> um... I gotta close my eyes on this one. Mm, mm, I'm trying to think who who would be an interesting character for Dan. You know, I let, let's. I always like to start with a warm up. Yeah, you know, warm. just just get into the groove. Um, why don't you know? There's a reason that he that it's a classic. You didn't have to close your eyes there. That's uh, this is just Isaac. But just a couple of Isaacs with the double D six though. <laughs> Oh. oh! Did you do your homework before the show today? Uh, what was my homework before the show today? I tweeted you a four-minute music video to watch. Oh yeah, you wanted me to watch that that Lil Wayne music video. Well, it's, it's actually featuring Lil Wayne, but the headliner was not Lil Wayne. So I uh, originally, yeah, yeah, give it a shot. Oh, that's pretty good. You can you can go ahead and snag that. I'm not gonna be mad. Or, okay. uh, originally, I was actually gonna watch it, but then but. I I genuinely had an Isaac episode that went on like until so my stream starts at 11. It went mm -hmm. until 10:53, okay. and when it finished, I still had not as of yet brushed my teeth or eaten lunch. So literally, like every second was precious. Look, so, I am—I um, I do not shame in any situation. Right? Can you can you take me through like just you individually your your wake up routine? Okay, I usually wake up um, maybe like seven fifty, something like mm -hmm. that, seven forty five. Um, oh, dude, this is pretty good. I. Uh, Go downstairs, mix up some cold brew concentrate with some uh, ice and some water to make a cold brew coffee. Uh, real, real quick, for the, the us uninformed, what is cold brew concentrate? Is it like sludge? So if you, you keep saying real quick, and then yeah. when I give you a base level explanation, you go real quick and you ask another question that dives in like a little deeper that and the more you drill down the less real quick it's going to be you know we we could be here for for hours okay thank then you for I'll, the raid mouth I'll thank you one real quick per story then a every everybody time. knows what cold brew is at this point what, if, if, well, what's what's cold brew sludge i feel you like it's concentrated it, it i feel like that's something that the average uh viewer could figure out for themselves like in in real time i think i don't i don't think anybody asked real, real, well i'm asking number one real quick on my side why in chat if you've hold of, heard of cold brew concentrate okay and i'm and I'm, e e up, no. I'm eager to see the poll here i'm, I'm eager to yeah. see the results of this poll not cold brew, cold brew concentrate. That's the first time in my life I've heard that. I've heard of orange juice concentrate. Well, then you're I've familiar of, with the concept then. Yeah, but I know orange juice concentrate coming from like almost like a biscuit tin in your freezer correct, that has yeah. like a frozen popsicle in it. Yes, that's but, correct. Okay. 62.89% uh, of the live polling audience woo, has never heard of, heard of it. Never heard of it. No. Okay. Well, cold brew concentrate is a more concentrated version of cold brew uh, that you add water to to get the correct proportions for real cold brew. And what does it look like? It looks like coffee. Frozen? It's in the fridge. Is it like looks like normal coffee or is it like sludge? It's. It depends, I guess, on how concentrated it is. 
Okay, how about yours in your refrigerator? Is it sludge or does it look like Folgers crystals? Um, it's not crystals. It's it's a liquid. Oh, so it's not concentrate. It is concentrate. It's liquid trait. It it's not solid <laughs> trait either. Okay, that that's a reroll right there. And you then fancy it, I I take. You can take that uh, if you want. Should I re? Uh, it's up to you. It's, it's HP and it gives you more HP over time. That, that's a take. Okay. We're both oh. familiar with that. <laughs> <laughs> you, sh you should play this guy a little more, though. Okay. I th you should play it all the way, basically. Okay. I mean, if you want to... So basically, like, how do you make cold brew concentrate? You grind beans. Um, don't take my, my rotten heart, please. You grind the beans, and then you you let it steep with water in like a carafe uh, overnight, and then you filter it out so all the bean the the grounds from the coffee don't get into the cold brew concentrate, and then it's it's just a you know it's a coffee colored liquid essentially. That's that's it right there. But if you were to drink it like if you put it in a shot glass and put it down the hatch, you're making like a bitter beer face for sure. Yeah, it's it's bitter. There's no question about that one. I, honestly, I would hit I would hit you with a reroll right here if you got the if you got the yeah. money, honey. I got the time. That's really good. Basically, that's doubled items for the rest of the run. That's some that's solid. Okay. Anyway, so I wake up seven forty five. Um, make cold brew concentrate. Go to the bathroom. Come out of the bathroom. Maybe it's like eight eight ten. Wake up the baby. You know, warm up the baby's bottle. Feed the the bottle to the baby. Um, that takes us to maybe like 8.30, 8.45. Kate's starting to do like her morning routine up to that point. And, uh, when, when she's done with that around 9.30, she goes on baby duty. That's where I start recording. I try to get two Isaac episodes if possible done per day. So usually that's like 9.30 to 11 with a 45 minute average on each. There's, that's, this, this, that's this, my this morning. Is Uber, this is, this is Uber quick. Are you put, pushing out one or two Isaac originals a day? Uh, one a day. And even that okay. has been like the, the backlog has gone to like near zero. Okay. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's, it's tight. But that's, that's the morning. Then I start the okay. stream at, at uh, 11 a.m. Because I was asking, like, and I guess it's just to each their own. Like, the first thing I do when I wake up is I go to the bathroom, like in, physically into the bathroom and brush my teeth. Is that a... Mm. Oh, y usually it depends. I, the longer that the, my morning goes without me having started recording, uh, the yeah. more stressed out I get. So I'm like, you know, if I'm not on camera to do like a video or two in the morning before I, uh, before I uh, brush my teeth is not a problem. Dude, Red, right. so like, like Red the Stew, kick off time. Red is Stew's that? pretty sick. Why, why don't you pick it up? It was, it was, and why, look at your damage down there. <laughs> 18, 17, 16. <laughs> Pump them. So the, it it the, uh, you lose the damage over time, but I mean it starts take, mighty take. nice. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take. You it. take them both. Take them both. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you got to we... we'll peep that deal with the devil for sure. Um, you, that's a reroll in my world. That's a reroll. Yeah. What do you think about that? Mm, I mean that's a replacement for the dice, right? Correct. No thing. I'm. I'll pass. All right. On all right. Let me. We can get some angel deals going here. Um. Okay. So, but so for you, if like kickoff times ten, and it's if it's ten oh one, and you're not in the booth with John Madden, you, you're like, all right, hey, any any personal items get thrown away? I gotta get in the booth. Something's gotta give. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I, I didn't even really eat lunch. I ate like you know twenty percent of this wrap, and then I'm like, well, you know, it's eleven. We gotta get it. Uh, we got to get this show on the road. Gotcha. Understandable, man. But I, you know, I, I think that the uh, brushing your teeth right away in the morning is not a bad thing. I got no problems with like dental hygiene. Like I'm, I, I'm trying to think of like the last time I didn't brush my teeth two times a day. And I mm -hmm. bet it was like before the year 2010. <laughs> yeah. I had, there, there were definitely a few times in college where I was like, ah, I'm just going to go to bed instead. Um, but as an adult, absolutely not. Euthanasia? You gotta let me take... Oh, so you could've got spun, and we have the double items. You and, we, and, I'm and we have I'm, a reroll, and, you know... I'm, I'm coming, I, I'm coming, okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm with you, I'm with you. That's, <laughs> that's my mistake. 
Do you but know? Do you, do, you, do you hold on? Do you know what this yeah. item that you just picked up does? Euthanasia. Wait, wait, describe its mechanics to me with any. It gets you one third to spun. And and on top of that, the merit of the item itself is. When I see a when I see a syringe, I just take it and call it euthanasia, mm -hmm. regardless of what it is. I'm just trying to figure out why you were so eager to pick it up with no time for discussion. I don't know. I got excited. <laughs> I got it. Sometimes I get excited. Because you really, you went for it straight out the gate. Is it Dan? Is, this is Daniel, yes. Yo, tell Kate congrats on her uh, Instagram AMA. Dan says congrats on your Instagram AMA. Oh, thank you, Dan. How come you didn't answer my question? I could tell her because I only answered um, questions that I don't want to say are serious, but have a serious intent behind them. I understand. Yeah. Uh, Dan says he only answers questions that um were uh, <laughs> non meme que non meme non questions. non meme questions questions that that came from a place where the person asking it had a genuine uh, bout of curiosity i had a genuine uh, curiosity what was the question have you farted today <laughs> That was that was a really good comedic timing. <laughs> oh, 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 you know what? I'm I'm going here. You know what? If you're going there, I'm going here. Well, if you're giving that up, I'm gonna go here. Then, then I'm going here. All right, all right. Right. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> but that was mine. That was mine, and I gave it up. That's the best item in the oh, game. Oh, that is pretty good. That's funny. Oh. Hello, baby. It's baby. She's having uh, she's having a good morning so far. What for for the baby people that are unfamiliar? What what constitutes a good morning? Uh, she was not very fussy. She she slept really well last night. Although, you know, I don't know if you went through like the same thing, but she's teething and she has like separation anxiety now because she's at that age. So we put her to bed at like 7.30 every night, and then she just freaking wails. She just <laughs> like, she goes crazy. We let her cry for like maybe 20 minutes, and then we just pick her up and bring her downstairs. And we're like, look, we're not even like doing anything. We're just eating dinner right now. <laughs> and then eventually she yawns, and then we put her to bed again, and she goes to sleep. One day she's going to say, yeah, Dad, but I'm missing all the pogs. <laughs> <laughs> As, as I strike out on uh, MLB The Show for the fourth time in the game. <laughs> oh, I'm dude. surprised my, my D up is still here. Oh, yeah. It, uh, it's almost gone, unfortunately, I think. But Oh, now it's it's completely gone. But, it, like, Red Stew can be amazing in, like, uh, greedier mode, for example. Mm. Like, you get that, and then there's... Because you, you get the damage back up every time you kill an enemy. Until it decays to zero. Oh, okay, good stuff, good stuff. Let's, let's go peep this real quick, man. I, I'm gonna blow him up. Okay, see you. And this gives us a higher chance at an angel deal in the future, right? Yeah, when you pick up the key piece, it gives you a higher chance. I think it's like 15% higher or something like that. Can't get in there. Think about using a bomb here just so I can. Maximize the min. Yeah, I think you, you you've been working on that with your with your six hour. <laughs> so like there, from my uh, perspective, so I started my stream at like eleven yesterday, um, mm -hmm. until like one thirty p.m. People were mm -hmm. like, he's still in the same room that he was in when you started your stream. It was like two what? two hours in the same physical location. Well, you know what happened. You know what happened? Yes. Yeah. Someone in chat said, there's no way you'll ever get the RP. <laughs> and then I had to concur with chat. I'm like, is there statistically in probability zero chance or is it just extremely low? And the answer was low. So we had to go out and get it. And then you got two of them, I heard. Yeah, two. You can have the right. Heat. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, you want, uh, you want, I insist after you. No, after you. I took the light. After you. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. So we're still we're we're still working. We're still working. 
Yeah, so you got it that that's saved on your uh on your file right now? Yeah, I was gonna play it today, but I'm like, I can't limit episode two of Isaac Wars. Uh right. the return of return of the Archie to two hours. I understand, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. But we did play it. I think I think it's definitely worth pro you you'd like like at least one segment of uh switch cars. What, what is it, switch cars? Though? Switch cars is Grand Theft Roguelike. Um oh, like, I think Grand Theft Auto top kind, down. Kind of like uh like Streets of Rogue. Um no, it's just, but it's just cars. So basically you try to clear 10 levels just stealing cars more or less and you can okay. like switch cars. It's pretty it's really cool. It's it's definitely worth it's high pogs. I don't know the legs on it, but it's worth like you'll like it for at least thirty minutes. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I insist. Yeah, I was looking at. It. Dude, we gotta try alt path here. Like this is okay. Come on, we're we're this is this is a strong run right now. Um, oh, why didn't anybody call this out? Would you look at that? I'll take oh, that I insist. one. Oh, thank yeah. you. I was looking at it on Steam and like. Since Repentance has come out, I think I've literally played five games on Steam. Repentance. Can I guess the games? Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. Go for it. Uh, real quick, can I get Avionics? My mistake. There you go. I insist. Um, don't don't well, reroll. Don't reroll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me guess. You have played Returnal, but that's not on Steam. Correct. Like there, I, have... I've played more than five games. Some of them were on Epic. Some of them were on Uplay. And some of them were were on Steam. Some of them but were on five PS5. were on Steam. Are, are they yeah. five new games or just five games that you've played in the past? Mostly like a mixture. Mostly new, I think. Okay, you've played the mountain game. What's that game called? Insurmountable. Okay, that's, which there's some that's re there's some them. reading in that, right? There's some reading. There's a lot of reading, but you don't have to read it all if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'll probably never play that. Um, <laughs> dude, it's it's just uh, it's altitude zomboid, but it, it writes okay. it writes mo more of the story for you, so you don't have to come up with your own story while you're trying to like hotwire a cube van. Okay, so okay, so there's one mountain. You played that game where they have your they paid you to come up with a cosmetic. Uh, that is not on Steam. That's on Origin. The superior okay. gaming platform. What is that game called? Knockout City. Okay. Good game, but uh, I think you would like that as well. It's like a three-person BR. It's dodgeball. It's it's like uh, oh. like Call of Duty multiplayer style, but dodgeball. Okay. Um, I can't think of uh, I can't think of any other games you played. Uh, there's one we played last Friday for a, a sponsored deal. Hood. Hood, that's correct. Okay. Uh, I insist. I insist. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. All right, you got me on that one. Ooh. Oh. Oh. More. Range up, speed down. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. What were the other ones? Um, Let me check here. Right click on, on Steam. <laughs> All right, <laughs> PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Wait, stop right there, stop right yeah, there. Yeah. So, is it officially six feet in the ground? Bro, it sucks. It's actually terrible. <laughs> I know I, I, we go through this like every year, but like it's, it's actually really bad. Tell me some things that we overlooked at the time that are really bad in the modern age, but at the time was probably a lot of fun or we just looked past it. No respawn, like when your squad mates die is insane. <laughs> when, when you like land and like you know all four of you land three of you live and one of you dies and then you have to like just sit there for 40 minutes or be like hey can you guys all like kill each other so that we can actually play the game together like how did we do that for two years it's crazy man no no and squad oh, oh well incredible <laughs> I don't mind if I do hey, you don't have the money you don't oh, have the money okay. No, so, okay, so no, no squad respawning. respawns. Um, so what did you do when you got when you were the first one dropped? I just kind of like was passive aggressive about it, right? Like, I just wait for somebody to suggest like, hey, should we back out? And then be like, <laughs> <laughs> oops, no, no, it's it's fine. 
Uh, and, like, I mean, there's so many, like, other things, like, um... Like, the loot on the ground is just, like... I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it just... It doesn't feel right to just be, like, walking around for the first 10 minutes of the game mashing the F button over and over and just, like, then sorting through it later. Um... Just, like, even just the way that you parachute, like, it just doesn't feel right. I mean, I get that that's because we've been playing Warzone uh, over time, but, like... But is there some context for you now why I always had to ask Austin how to how to do it? <gasps> that's my favorite! Oh, you, okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 we, we, we gotta time this appropriately, okay? Okay. I don't... I'm trying to think about how we're gonna do this. Oh, because the, uh, the items we want are on two different oh. cycles, man! <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Uh, no, no, holy water is really good. Here's what I think. Okay, I have shielded tears on on my holy water cycle, which is really good. I think I think you should get holy water. Okay. And I'm trying to think about how we're gonna. You see, you see the avionics here. Yeah. When the avionics tick, sixteen o two, walk into yeah. it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. No, no, that was my bad. That was my bad. Oh, I can reroll this. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. What happened to my guy? Oh, never mind. We're good. Mm, that's a reroll. I'll come back and reroll again. Let, let, no, let me snag. I think this will be helpful. Uh, yeah, sure. Go it's ahead, it's really, dude. It's good for both yeah, of us. That's, it's that's good. Fine. It's well, it's like, good for the goose. It's good for the gander. At, like, at least I didn't uh, squander an item room taking an item I don't even know what it does. <laughs> I said what's good for the goose is good for the gandy. <laughs> um, so, PUBG. Bad, bad game. But, PUBG 2? I still, so you, you, you linked me to that article about PUBG 2. Yeah. It's possibly the least reputable article on video game journalism I'm, I've ever read in my entire life. What gives you that insight to make that bold statement? They might as well have had a footnote that was like, you know, source, dude, just trust me. <laughs> it was like a, a tweet from a QA professional that works at Blue Hole was like, yeah, maybe we'll make PUBG too. And then the, the whole article is like, it's good. looking at their quarterly earnings report. It's definitely coming out like 2022. Well, excuse me. And th this is not current events, but I don't know if you watch modern day journalism i was watching the nfl draft okay last yeah. week, and they said that aaron Rodgers was making fun of the gm and he doesn't want to be a patriot or a, a packer anymore right yeah and so the next day the guy who who leaked that adam schefter they're like hey where did you get your information from he's like oh i don't have a source okay yeah and, and they're like well how did you say that he's like well i don't have a source so PUBG 2 and aaron Rodgers not wanting to be a packer same news cycle. I, I insist. I don't get it. <laughs> like, the guy essentially just, I don't want to say made it up, but he said he didn't have a source. Yeah, but then it, it came true. No. But he, oh, the, I, I thought the, that he didn't want to be a Packer. Did I get, well, that's, I, I got fake news as well? I'm not saying it's fake news. I'm just saying, like, he he's like, no, no one ever told me that. There was no source. Yeah, exactly. That's why you shouldn't. That's why you shouldn't trust it. <laughs> but if ESPN's doing it, then how do? Ooh, that's my favorite. Oh, dude. This if ESPN's doing it, why can't that gaming company? Just go ahead and uh, if you want. What is that? What is blank card? Blank no, card. We'll, I'll lose. I'll, I'll lose my D six. Yeah, know. but I'll have the D six. Yeah, but I like having it. All right, and we should get a reroll then. And then we got to reroll my. Oh, never mind. You took my item. It's good. The fact that I did that is is positive. I promise you. you... Dude. Okay. I, I, got a, <laughs> I, I, I got a deep question for you. This okay, is yeah, super yeah. wicky. Okay? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you take P PhD, right? Yeah. So, I'm, I'm sh so on Isaac Wars episode one, I'm trying to get every <laughs> transformation in one run. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I took up PhD, so I can't become adult. How do I invert that? Do I have to get bad PhD or just hit the R key? Um, I have no idea whatsoever. I mean, I have never done a six hour long run where I tried to get every transformation. But 
here's my thing because when you get phd it limits you to 13 pills right you knew that or no no okay <laughs> i know it, it limits you to only the supposedly good pills oh. okay Right. On this run, this this personal project you're working on right now, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna learn more about Isaac than I've learned in four <laughs> four thousand hours of playing the game for sure. Have you have you quantified? Well, we can do it right now. Four thousand hours. Yeah. I mean, this is over years and years and years. What would your slash played be um... if it if it was? <laughs> Uh, Reroll, please. <laughs> Can we get a re -roll on that one? Come on, let's get a thumbnail. Oh, no, I can't put that. You'll in never there. believe. I can't I've been put that the in there. I can't put the sausage in Why the thumbnail. Why is this a sausage? <laughs> it doesn't look like a sausage to me, man. Are there three hmm. vasculars in there? I have no idea what that means. Um, I guess what do we take the sack? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, man. What were we saying before that? <laughs> I don't <laughs> recall. <laughs> oh, but what's your slash played? Uh, in, in... On Steam or in Hours in Repentance? In... So, if you, did you ever play WoW? No. So let's go Let's go find the Super Eddie room. Um, what so is in the WoW, Super Eddie room? It's the Super Seeker room. But it has nothing to do with the. Why is it called a super Eddie room when it is uh, just? <laughs> there's no Eddie's relation. To do with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so in World of Warcraft, they don't tell you how many hours you played. They say one month, one day, and ah, six hours. Okay. What would your slash play? Nice find, by the way. Um, it's a good question. I don't know. Hey, Chet, can you do me a favor and do like four thousand divided by twenty-four? It's got something like 100 and 180 days, maybe? Something like that? So six months? Yeah. 167 that, days. Does it feel like you've played six months of your life playing Isaac? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Then how come you can't tell me if puberty's <laughs> out of the item pool when you take PhD? <laughs> hey, man. I, I only have Isaac solidarity with the people who... Uh, we're there playing thousands of hours when it was just Afterbirth Plus. <laughs> all, all the Johnny Come Latelys who are like, you know, now that Repentance is in, they're they're loving it. You weren't there, man. You you don't no, know that it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know I what just, it's like. I think one of the biggest like subtleties for me is the rooms, like the big rooms. They either don't feel as hard or as like time draining as they used to be. You know? Yeah. No. Absolutely. Which to I, me, like, anytime I'd get in a big room and I was, like, had a pea shooter, I'm like, get me out of this game. Yeah, they, they've done a really good job with, uh, well, with everything, basically, about, uh, in, in Repentance. I w I've been talking about it, but, like, someone in the comments said, ooh. ooh. And it's kind of, well, you know what? Duality what is, is okay. I'll, I'll what, what is, um, what is the Declaration of Independence? Uh, it puts a marker over an enemy's head, and mm -hmm. if you and then when you kill them, it p moves the marker to another enemy's head. If you mm -hmm. complete the room in order that it demarcates the enemies, you get either a stats upgrade or a consumable drop. Oh, and then the other one is a little D up. Um, I, nobody knows what the other one does. I don't. I don't think you take it, man. So f I'm saying feather is Declaration of Independence. Yeah. Yeah. The other one, we don't know what it does. Nobody knows. It's science has not gotten to that level yet. Right. I knew, I knew he was gonna do it. <laughs> Donkey, da dung. Ooh, we can go on that. Oh, we already did that. Have you won any uh, MLB BRs? No, I basically almost got to the point where like I rage quit. They need more people to, I think, play the. Oh, we've already been there ten times. More bad players. Yeah, they they got too many good players. I gotta remember like the kinds of people that play sports games online. Like literally, they buy one game a year and then sink their entire paycheck into it. <laughs> and then like they've been doing that over like nine years. So like every time I would queue up for the BR, I would win my first game like 30 to zero against some eight year old kid uh, and then just get shellacked in the next two games. And like when you're losing in baseball, like 
You know, you, you go down like 12-0 in the first inning. You're like, do I really want to sit here for the next uh, 20 minutes just to feed this person's ego? And that's where you go like, oops, my power cord came unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you taking, punch drunk? I think we should take the punch, yeah. So, okay. I, I don't know how to, I Okay, not this one, <laughs> but this next one. <laughs> It's hard to coordinate, man. It's like it's I don't know what. It, I, don't I mean, a, a three, two, one. How are we supposed to, to three, two, one bat? though? Because we got the things are flicking. Well, just time it up. Just actually, I think you're right. I think I, I think I figured out a way to do it. Chat, can we can we get that clip? We we we've heard for the first time in five plus years playing games with Ryan Gary saying, "Yep, you're right." I'm. <laughs> I'm, here. I'm turning that into an NFT. Sorry. Mm. Oh, here we go again. Dude, people are they're they're turning on Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk released his his final 540 ever as an NFT, and people are sending him gifts of like little kids pointing guns at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> they've they've taken to, Tony's been corrupted, man. I will. I saw very. Dude, speaking of Tony, in the past 36 hours, I saw a. Very wholesome Tony Hawk uh, TikTok. Okay. If I had to guess, it was probably uh, yeah, maybe like a 13-year-old girl on like an Omega ramp. And the, the caption was, she's afraid to go down it for the first time. But then T-Hawk was just like, <laughs> hey, you can do this. You can do this. And like it's, when I say Omega ramp, like imagine like someone cratered your backyard <laughs> 60, 60 feet into the ground. So she's got like one her, her skateboard like one wheel hanging over and she's like i can't do it i can't do it and then she goes like yeeting and they have like three different camera angles of it it's pretty cool tony hawk's like you can do it and then she goes down and freaking cracks her skull open on the, on the cement at the bottom uh, then he's like hey <laughs> see you later yeah avionics oh yeah, yeah. How, about, how about yesterday in the middle of the six hour run you're coming in asking for avionics. Because I wanted to know where your timer was at. I told you, 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but it was 45 minutes for the, like, fifth time. <laughs> I know you like Binky or uh, Blue so, Bozzy, right? I, I think you should take the blanket, honestly. It's good. It gives you uh, a spirit heart, and then the first hit you take on the boss is uh, ignored. Holy Mantis? Yeah, it's, it's like Holy Mantle on the boss. Did you um? Did you ever play Metal Gear Solid on the PS One? No, you never did. Uh -huh. I played Metal Gear Solid. Oh, you know what? I'm very stupid. <laughs> let me let me take the pill. Let me take the pill. I got PhD. Gotcha. Let me take the pill. I got you. I, got you. I, I want it. I want it. Um, I played I played Metal Gear Solid Two on the on the PlayStation Two, mm -hmm. and then I I got very irritated during the boss fight against Fat Man. The uh, mm -hmm. bomb expert on roller skates, where you have to like figure out where he placed bombs and then hit him with like a bomb defusal spray. Uh, mm -hmm. So I stopped playing it and gave the game back to my friend. And then, like 12 years later, um, in university, one of my friends started playing it uh, and I watched him play through the whole game. And I was like, yo, this game's pretty sick. Number two. Number two, yeah. Yeah. So, and I don't, I, I'm trying to think if you would figure this out. Spoilers for anyone that's never played Metal Gear Solid 1. And you may, ooh, guppy We've We've gotten three guppies and we passed. Should we roll it? Nah, Dry, dry Baby's pretty good. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, but there's an enemy, cover yours if you want to beat Metal Gear Solid 1, in Metal Gear Solid 1 called Psycho Mantis. Oh, yeah, Stop. yeah. Have you heard of this? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's like a meta boss. Yeah, T goes you know like, your, con him? your controller's unplugged. What if I wipe out your Ridge Racer save or something like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And so I remember playing that game, and I'm like, there's no way to beat him. <laughs> there's no way to beat him. So do you, want, you know the solution? Mm, I don't know. You unplug your controller, plug it into controller port two, and then you just hit him once and he dies. Really? 
Yes, and I'm like, who, how are you supposed to figure that out? <laughs> you don't break the fourth wall in video games. They don't tell you on like the ComTac or whatever? No. <laughs> I'm like, how did, look, I know, look, I will never say a bad word about Kojima, but that's some galaxy brain stuff. He's a creative guy. Like, it's like Death Stranding, I thought was a, a good game. F in, mm -hmm. F in chat for ever finishing the series on, on Twitch, but um, it's, you know, I, give me a, a Kojima weird game any day of the week over like, hey, like we made another Assassin's Creed, but whoa, check it out. This time you're in like, you know, Persia. Crazy. Mr. Squeeze? Um, would you, you is, you should is take Death Stranding? Squeezy. You should take Squeezy. Yeah, is yeah. Death Stranding good enough for you to play off camera? Like, if, if you had, like, another four hours free time where you weren't working. Hit me with a reroll, please. Saya. Thank, thank you, sir. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. Um, would you, um, is it, like, could it be a relaxing game you could play if, like... No, 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 no. Um, not, not presently, like, where I'm at in my life. Okay. Like it's I not just, like you pick it up for 30 minutes, deliver a couple of packages, and then shut it down? You totally could, but I would be probably... I, I think I would be bored at that point, for sure. Got it. Because it, it would take the, years, to, I think, to finish the game at that point. Is that the game loop, more or less, or am I generalizing it? You got it completely correct. You basically just walk around um, with stuff on your back, and then you come to terrain that's tough to pass, and you're like, all right. How am I gonna do this? And then you do it. How am I gonna? How are we gonna do this mom <laughs> fight? <laughs> oh, dude, come on, this is easy. Let's go prop bet. Will Ryan and I both do this without taking damage? <laughs> that, that's slim odds. That is slim <laughs> odds. If anything, like I actually, I enjoyed Death Stranding a lot. Uh, until it got more gamey. Like, I, 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 once they started, when it was just walking and then, you know, like delivering stuff, I was like, this is a lot of fun. I think you should take it because you got the other piece. Um, when they started being like, hey, there's like, when it rains, ghosts comes out, uh, ghosts come out and start to like grab you and hit you and stuff. And then you got to actually like play stealthily. I was like, this isn't what I signed up for, man. You just wanted. UPS simulator. Yeah, I just I just wanted the uh, I just wanted to walk. Oh, oh! Believers almost in shambles right there. I since she's on you, I should be sh moving the needle. Come on. Oh, nice. oh, and then you can walk into the the lock. Okay, <laughs> Te okay, okay, tele okay, okay. Telepathic keys. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, I got hit by a fly after all that. Believers in shambles. Hey man, that's that's why it's a bet. That's why it's not a sure thing. Let that be a lesson to you. Uh, gambling is dangerous. Unless it's Tony Hawk's last 540. Because <laughs> he's, not, he's not making another one, man. It's a hedge against inflation. Tony Hawk, he's never going to do another 540. It's more valuable than fiat lull, fiat currency. What are you going to put, put your money in US dollars? Come on. Tony What's the highest Canadian denomination of fiaticity? I actually don't know. But uh, No, it's got to be higher than that, right? Like th That's the highest normie bill, I'm sure. <laughs> but I'm sure like when... You gotta when you work at the bank, they have like thousand dollar bills with like John Diefenbaker's face on them or something. You think so? I think so. I yeah, like pe like people in chat are saying that there's like in the U.S. there's ten thousand dollar bills at the. That's false. I think you can get a ten thousand dollar denomination like at the bank, right? They make those for oh after movies. You. <laughs> <laughs> Not heard. actually real. I never tell you about the time I was at TwitchCon and uh, Dose One, who did the soundtrack for Enter the Gungeon, handed me an enormous brick of fake money uh, that had like YV, I think, from Nuclear Throne on the bill uh, and said, he, like, yeah, I forget what he said, but it was something funny. He's a charismatic guy. And then I took a photo and tweeted it, and I was like, yo, check it out, TwitchCon is lit or whatever. And most people were like, that's not real money. 
But a couple people were like, wow, like, so garish of you to post- That's like $15,000 and you'd go post it on Twitter like that? Like, people are out here struggling. And I was like, buddy, it's fake money. <laughs> it has like a, a triangle with a gun where like Ben Franklin's face is supposed to be. <laughs> Just look at look at it for two seconds before you get upset. <laughs> um, was there some tweet or something that came out yesterday? Why am I associating Garish with a tweet? It came out yesterday. Mass Effect. No, some tweet that like, like why would you tweet that? Oh, you're talking Listen about the, the you're talking about the ninja sandwich tweet. <laughs> That's why. I didn't know. I couldn't. I knew there was something that I read that was kind of like if you were posted a fifteen thousand dollar bill, it was like the same vernacular. Wait, so that was real, right? That wasn't a, a meme one. There's a real tweet. Yeah, he was like, you know, dominating a League of Legends match, and then my wife with no bra on came in and gave me a sandwich and chips or something like that, and you're just, <laughs> you're just like, man. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't want to, you know, say anything about another streamer on the platform. It's just yeah. probably not the kind of thing that I would have tweeted. Uh, yeah. That's to, what I was. To the victor go the spoils. All right, get me out, get me out. <laughs> Wait, do you still have that dollar bill? No, nah, we probably recycled it. Is my guess. So you honestly believe that there's like a $5,000 bill? Can you not for like, just, <laughs> just for a second? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, know, yeah, man. why, cause I mean, there's- but who uses that? Well, if you feel like back in like the day, they would have been like, if you got to buy like, you know, part of a railroad company or something like that, it's not like they're going to do it on Ledger, right? Like, you got to have the cash. What are you going to give them? Like, a, a hundred thousand, hundred dollar bills? I don't think so, man. They got to have a higher denomination. Do you think banks back in the day, I mean, pre-computers, they just, your bank account was just pencil on a notebook? I guess so, yeah. What's crazy to think about. Yo, don't even get me started on the, on the banking industry, man. It's uh, it's it's something I think you're better off like not thinking about. <laughs> like you, now they're just they're just numbers on a on a yeah. Excel file sheet. But then like the bank also like so the way that at least this is my understanding. The bank basic I don't want to say that they can print unlimited money cuz that's not true. However, the bank can kind of like make loans um, with with it's supposed to have the money to make the loan, but it doesn't have to, if that makes sense. Until like they, they have this thing in reserve called sp specie. We we'll just get out of here. This is a disaster. Oh, I got it. I had it. <laughs> um, I I got I got I got it. I got, I got it all figured out here. Okay, hold on. Okay. Cool. Okay, check this out. Nice slurp. Okay, one moment, please. We're free. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, this is interesting, because this is... You gotta let me go first. Why? No, I don't trust that. I don't trust your. Equity. You don't. You don't trust me asking why. We could just go three, two, one, go. Okay, that's fine. Take your equidistance. Okay. There you yeah. Yeah. That yeah. I trust. Okay. Th three, two, one, go. Beautiful. Oh, dude! I got Ooh. soy milk Libra. It's the dream combination. <laughs> what does that do for you? So Libra balances all your stats proportionally. So, like, if you got a stat that's higher in like one direction. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, it's like Dark Souls. Yeah, I just noticed though it was nerfed unfortunately, so it's not it's not good anymore. It was too much fun, so they had to eliminate it. Um Anyway, so that, that's what Libra does.
I've, I've realized I don't know as much about economic policy as I thought, but anyway, what it, the way that I understand that banks work is that 90% of uh, the deposits that they have don't actually exist inside of the bank's vault and exist only in like accounting. And they are required to keep minimum 10% of, of what they've loaned out. Uh, available just in case there's like some kind of liquidity crisis or something like that so yeah. basically if at any point the federal reserve was like hey we need some of that money back they could be like hey i got some but if they don't have some that's where you end up with those lines to get <laughs> the last <laughs> bit of money out of the bank before they go out of business yeah i mean that's that, i don't know much about much but that's my understanding is that for every dollar that they have, they can loan out nine that they yes, don't have. That's, that's, that's what Chad's saying as well. Which is like, uh, no other business, you can't do that, you know? Dude, the, the, that hedge fund that like went out of business, um, it was like two months ago or something like that, uh, Archegos or Archegos, they mm. had something like, like 20 or 30 to one leverage. So, like, you know, if you make a mistake or if you have a downturn, it's 20 times worse than the amount of money you actually hold. At least if, if you and I go to the casino, we just lose what we put on red, you know? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> you can't lose more than what you put on red. That's... I yeah. I don't know. There, there's got to be some people out there that are like buying Dogecoin on like lines of credit that they got from the bank. Oh, so like, man. Just, yeah, we'll just wait and see how that goes. But I don't want to turn this into a financial podcast, but I was in college. There was this kid who lived on our floor. He was like a little bit older than everyone, but probably by like three or four years. But, okay. you know, still same college year. Yeah. I'm going to start later. But it's the first time I ever heard the word margin. I'm like, because oh, no. he would sit on his computer all day and he would have all those lines on his screen. And this is in the early 2000s. I'm like, what does that guy do? And he's like, he's trading stocks on margin. But he, like, he was a student of the college? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why what does that have to do with anything? You know, I don't know what the heck margin is. So what? he was trading one day. Oh, one no. Day, I was in the, like in the dorms, like you keep your door open. You see people yeah. walk by and like everyone, if you walk by someone's door, you always wave. I just saw him walk by, no. like with, with with not like this hands on his head, <laughs> walking by. You should you should use that sun car, by the way. That's and, so good. And, and then I figured out exactly what margin was after that. You want me to use this right now? If you have the sun, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, give it a shot. All right. Well, like, so I'm trying to do the math here. Were you in school, like in college, during the, the dot-com bubble? Because that would be like a really bad time to be a 22-year-old kid who was trading stocks on margin, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I was like uh, 02 to 0 whatever, plus okay. 4. So I guess like a, a not at the exact downturn, but still like a pretty rough time. Yeah. That's funny. So. Uh -oh. I mean, what are you doing in, like when you're in <laughs> university, your first year, second year university, buying stocks on margin? Like, same reason, avionics, the same reason you see kids on TikTok talking about the next altcoin that's going <laughs> to explode. <laughs> like, kid, you're 13. Anyways. Uh, oh, wait, we got to try and order these guys, right? Uh,. That was Not my necessarily. Bet. Yeah, we're on, a, I, I, we're on a survival. We're on a survival play, I think. Okay. Good teamwork. That was yeah. that was very solid. Yo, have you talked to Matt this lately? Not really. Me neither. He's he's chilling. Yeah. I know he moved, right? He moved. He's he's hanging out with Simvicta in in Texas playing board games. Oh. Why do don't they live stream? Man? Ooh, what do you want here? I think, well, like, my rate of fire kind of sucks now. So I was going to say, like, Explosivo, but the best item is Daddy Long Legs. So personally, I think... What? I like Cobalt Hat. What the heck is Cobalt Hat? The uh, rainbow one? Okay, then that's that's good then. Let's let's back it up against the wall. Are you sh that's a lot to time, though. I, I think I got it, man. Okay, you ready? All right, you, you just give me the... 
<laughs> Give me one test run, and then we're gonna say this is the real one. Okay, so it would be like three, two, one, go. And no, no, we gotta do it different, okay? Three, is two... Is this the real one or the test this one? This is the test still. Okay. Three, two, one, go. We gotta do it slightly different, but this will be the real one. You ready? Okay, yep. Three, two, one, go. We were, yeah, that was, it's it's rougher than it looks. <laughs> I, I, I stalled, got it next time. I stalled, you stalled, that was just, it was a pure stall. I got it next time. I, I, I have the, the code to the matrix. Mm. We just start a little closer. It's probably the right idea, yeah. <laughs> and not worry about the distance so much. Yeah. What does busted battery do? As you kill enemies, it charges instead of charging normally. I think it's a reroll this late in the game, honestly. Okay. Ooh. Sackboy is pretty good. You don't like Habiticity? Habiticity is charged when you get hit? Yeah, it's worse, though. Yeah, but it's it's Flash. What does that even mean? It's Flash. It's from Flash, so it's good. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, you don't want the backpack? What do you mean it's from Flash? We don't like have the money! Flash, we don't have the money! Oh, it's from Flash Isaac. Okay. Yeah. If it's from, if it's from Flash Isaac, I have a 50% higher probability to remember the item. Yeah, that makes sense. That doesn't yeah. mean it's any good, though. There's a lot of a lot of trash, a lot of flash trash. You don't think um, habit's good? It's fine. It's not as good as Sackboy. If it's something I've seen Cobalt wearing his head eight years ago, I, I translate <laughs> it to being good. <laughs> Did you ever watch him when he would wear the hats? Uh, I don't think so. No. Oh. I I really only started watching like literally any streams uh, maybe within the past three or four years. Really? Yeah. Prior to that, I mean, I just worked too much, honestly. And also, as we've talked about many times, uh, you know, it took me a while to find streamers I find entertaining. <laughs> I was, I, and again, like, I don't even want to, like, I'm not naming names here at all because it doesn't matter. But, like, I was on Twitch yesterday, and on the front page, there was somebody, like, playing chess, and it was clearly, like, also a sponsored deal. Um, and I was like, I'll watch this for a second. Like, I don't really know who this person is. I, I had it, the the tab up for like three minutes, no words at all, and chat like it was like over fifteen thousand viewers. Chat's going freaking crazy. They're like, what? Streamer said nothing, pure silence, and I was like, I'm out of here, man. I'm watching. I'm watching Jay. Were they re a really good chess player? No, they were like five hundred. <laughs> Oh, I, I got Libra. Let me let me take this one. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Go ahead. Okay. Just go ahead and shoot the knife. Um. Here. So <laughs> present present company excluded. Yeah. Just for ego reasons. Um, I'm joking. Who uh? Do you have streamers like a streamer that you like to watch? It's that maybe not in your in the circle that you're like, oh, this person's entertaining. Not really, no. No. It, in terms of like, basically, my criteria for watching a streamer is like, are they live in the half hour to an hour it takes me to set my YouTube videos every night? Yeah. Um. So usually that's basically like Cobalt and and Jay, and that's it. And then it just depends on who's playing what, but usually they're both playing Repentance. So I just kind of go back and forth. I'll go get farm some dopamine in one of their chats and then go to the other chat and farm <laughs> some dopamine. And then, you know, then I'm like, ah, time to go to bed. We're, in, we're in for a rough spot here, I think, man. I, I need got both of those, Uber. honestly. That's fine. Uber mom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if, yeah. if this is Uber yeah. mom. Yeah. I think <laughs> Uber mom's hard. It's hard. I was actually, um, I had coffee with a real life buddy outside and, um, why did you, just, why'd like, you phrase I, it like it's the start of a scary story? <laughs> well, cause like, I just haven't seen him in a, like in a while and he moved back. It's Michigan. like, you should have a, a flashlight like under your chin before you start telling what the, oh no. But, um, like he plays games, but he's 
He's like a sports gamer. Okay, like, but yeah. just very casually. But he was talking to me about Twitch. He's like, yeah, I watch DJs on Twitch. Oh, dude, like, there's so what? many. And I'm like, what? I didn't even know that. He's like, yeah, and I prefer the ones that don't talk. He's like, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I listen to them and all they do is read out people's names the whole time. And I was like, <laughs> it's it's about finding the balance. It's about finding the balance. <laughs> but he's like really into it. He's like, yeah, if I'm cleaning my house, like these are the DJs I listen to. I'm like, I didn't even know that subsection of Twitch existed. Oh, dude, if you go to the Twitch front page, like I get DJs every single time. I, really? I don't I don't know like how it happened. People say like the front page is based on your viewing history. It's not like yeah. if, if I was watching dance music, you think like I wouldn't tell you about it? That's like it's a cool thing. <laughs> I'm not a cool guy. I don't listen. I listen to, you know, Steely Dan, right? So I don't know why I'm getting the DJs constantly. I think it's one of those things where I'm I'm getting the DJs because they keep feeding me DJs. So they're <laughs> they're like, this guy loves listening to dance music. And I'm like, I don't, I just can't escape it, man. And not to talk about Twitch Meta, but he's you know he's married and he's like he's like sometimes I'll pull up I'll pull up the app on his because he watches on his TV and he's like I'll, I'll see people in hot tubs I'm like no I don't want to click that I want to, my wife's asking me what the heck I'm watching on this Twitch app and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> like too soon man dude it happens to me on Twitter now and then too you'll just be because ever since Twitter started showing you what other people liked <laughs> like I. I'll just open up the app and be like, you know, oh, I wonder what's going on on Twitter today. And it's like, hey, horny streamer liked a uh, picture of girls showing her butt in cosplay. And I'm like, I got like no disrespect, but that's not what I'm here for, Mathis. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was going to say sorry for all the, the, the NBA videos of people getting dunked on showing up in your feed. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch those 10 times out of 10. <laughs> I, dude, we could win. I mean, it's 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 within our capability. We You're gonna laugh, but like, I'm definitely gonna die. Which means you've gotta live. Why do you feel like you're gonna die? I'm so low on HP. Could we'll just find could it. We'll find a heart. We'll find a heart secret room. Oh, dude, I got it. No sweat. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I can't sweat. Get no sweat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I no, let's let's keep that deal with the devil chance though. Okay. Wait, what am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, Ooh. wait, Dan. Oh, that's such a good item. Hey, I have a lover's card for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop that down. Pop that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Chad's really good too. Little Chad is gonna help us. Little Chad is city. Mm, well, there goes that spirit heart already. <laughs> And, uh, no, don't worry. I'll just keep bumping them over to you with my uh, with my Jake Paul tears. <laughs> I was talking about it with Chad, okay, and that because I, I I was as I don't I don't know a lot about boxing, um, yeah. But I was like, this is the end game, right? Like this is Logan Paul's oh, gonna get what? freaking destroyed. Is this enemy? <laughs> I'm dead. Here, I'll, I'll tank for you a little. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. All right, you win this, we can come back. I've never seen this before. Oh, nice toilet mm. strats. Please, daddy, please. I have please. no damage. I got no damage. Try, baby, please. Dude, your familiars. Your familiars are. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. Saved. All right, tears of Jake Logan Paul. Thank you for the save. Um, dude, honestly, check this out, okay? It's gonna sound crazy. I think Pill. I take this, because I got PhD, and then I can examine these pills. So a luck up, that belongs to me. A luck up, that belongs to me. Bad gas, that's an insult. Okay, those are horrible. I think you should re-roll that to try to get okay. something better. That's not good enough. Neither of those are good enough. I think you can take... Uh, you can take, you the, take the, the H up. You think I should take the? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold yeah, let's look for Eddie rooms. Look for Eddie rooms. So what? Are the, you're talking about the tears. Of, we gotta play it. Yeah. Uh, the tears of Logan Paul. Yeah, he's he's gonna get destroyed, right? <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. He's fighting arguably, definitely the greatest boxer of our 
one of the greatest box of our generation. Yeah. But he's a little but old. But do you think um I'm trying to think of appropriate analysis. Do you think I'm trying to think oh, someone bigger than you? <laughs> oh, Daniel. Take it. No, no, no. You take it. But don't take it on this floor. Take it on the next floor. No, you. you why would I take it? Because you can get full HP. But so can you. Yeah, but I already. I can survive one hit. You can't. Okay. Um, Yo, why, did, why is your Isaac breathing so hard, man? Like, do you see? Just staying still for a sec. Look at your guy. He's. <laughs> <laughs> He's so he's gassed. <laughs> okay, okay, pop it like on this room. No? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. But I mean, doesn't he, he gives up like fifty pounds, right? I mean, that's a lot. Like, if he catches them once, or is that what Vegas wants you to think? I think Vegas wants you to think that Logan Paul is gonna get beaten. He's like a ninety-two to eight underdog or something. I mean, like, if Melf were to fight Sinvicta, but that's not even fair either, because they're not professional fighters. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, also, Sinvicta, he was a bouncer for a period of time, which I think okay, means... so, so let me. Oh, yeah, but Sinvicta's also oh. got the size advantage yeah. as well, so yeah. it's like a double. It's a I double, can't think of a good trouble. analysis because it's so, it's so outlandish, you oh. know. <laughs> oh, the ladder of the century. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, still Can pretty you, good though. What? Let's just let's live in an alternate world. If okay. Say he beats, or even goes the distance. No, say beats. Say he beats one of the greatest boxers of all time. What does our world look like? <laughs> <laughs> the second, the second that bout is over. Oh, uh, I don't know. It, it would it would be a surprise for sure. I'll put it that way, but. I don't know how much of a surprise. Oh, here's one. It's, someone's saying it's like Michael Jordan playing Michael Jackson in one on one. Yeah, but dude, that's that's my classic <laughs> go to. <laughs> Do you think Michael Jordan is better at basketball than Michael Jackson is at singing? It's a question I ask myself every day. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson is an incredible singer. Michael Jordan, pretty good at basketball, too. No question. Yeah, it's tough to compare. You want to but see Michael, a real Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson can't beat Jordan with one lucky shot. Right, yeah. Logan Paul could beat Mayweather with one incredibly mm. lucky shot. I guess. And you could also like win the lottery if you just had like like six incredibly lucky numbers. I mean, it depends. If you got five of them in a row, your chance of getting a sixth one is much, 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 much difficult. Yes, that is true, but not in the way that you think it's uh <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Is this Austin? I think it's his double damage familiars. You should, Ooh, then we you should take. That. Yeah, you should take that for sure, because your your familiars are killing it here. Um, you know, you want a real fight? Like I, I know you you love the novelty boxing. Uh, yeah, I mean it's not novelty; it's professional. <laughs> I guess I mean, yeah, as soon as they got Floyd Mayweather in it, I guess. But um, this one's novelty for sure. Uh, the mountain from Game of Th uh, Game of Thrones, half Thor, okay. half Thor Bjornsson, world's strongest man, 2018, uh, is fighting Eddie Hall, world's strongest man, 2017, in a boxing match this September. How would we know Eddie Hall? Mm. Uh, if you're into this, if you're into the strongman community, he's he's one of the best strongmen of like the last decade, I guess. Okay. Does he wear one of those brown leather belts when he lifts? Yeah, but they like all do. They don't do even just wear the the belt anymore. They wear they have like whole suits that are uh, designed to basically brace their lifts for them. You you think uh, if you were to examine one of their hearts, you think it would be more muscular than ours? Yes, but in like a bad way. Yeah, for sure. Like, like from, um, I mean, I watched a documentary on Eddie Hall. He, by the way, he's a pretty huge guy, obviously. Like, he, uh, uh, he's 6'1", and probably, like, still 300 and something pounds, even though he's not in, like, strongman shape anymore. Um, but obviously the mountain is, like, 
six <laughs> six nine or something like that and four hundred pounds. Anyway. <laughs> um but he was literally eating like twelve thousand calories a day or something like that. that. Is insane. Which like it's is impossible to eat that many calories and stay like super clean. So they were like, you know, he was eating like tubs full of ice cream and stuff like that. <laughs> I think uh I think I'm gonna die. Oh no, you got two and a half, I believe. It's not that was much. Was it Olber when but... Olber and Martel went toe to toe with the mountain? <laughs> Don't answer that. Yeah. <laughs> Those shots are still living there. I'll tell you what, man, the Game of Thrones. It's it's like last card Marty syndrome. It's only remembered for the last episode or season. There's some good seasons at Game of Thrones. It was good TV for for a yeah. long time. However, I do need to go to bat for the haters in this one, yeah. um, because much of the reason that Game of Thrones was considered so compelling was because people were wondering how they were going to solve those mysteries that they had built up over the previous half decade. Yeah. And then when the resolution of the mystery is unsatisfying, it, it cheapens the rest of the experience. That is that is very fair. Can you think of a show, like a drama, highly produced, that was very satisfying and didn't outstay its welcome? The the classic example I think is is definitely Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. Can I can I get you to go up here with your yeah. ghost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. For, oh my god, he's the greatest. Dude, you're gonna do it. He's the greatest gamer of all time. Look at that. Oh. Easy. Dude, you took like one heart damage. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Wait, you don't watch the cutscenes? Oh, seen it so many dozens of times by now. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but there's there's different like little <laughs> Easter eggs you pick up every time. Good run, good mm, run. Think, yeah, good good run for you as well. Who do you 